Hi everyone, I'm Amy from Park Cameras and today I'm here at Nikon HQ to show you something very exciting. Now this year is Nikon's 100th anniversary and they haven't just given us dodgy garage flowers and a box of chocolates, they have gone all out. Because they've released the D850. Nikon's tagline for the D850 is, I am the new perspective. And I can totally see where they're coming with it. This is the D850. It is a stunning camera. It's got the grip on it, so it is a smaller body. Um, yeah, it's built so well, really nice. And to be honest, at the moment, this is a pre-production, so I can't take any sample shots with it. But we've had a play with the camera itself, and really this video is more about the specs, um, which I know can sometimes be a bit boring, but we've just pulled out the ones that we think are incredibly exciting. And I must say, there are a few. Um, a camera like this hasn't come out in a while. Um, and it really is, it really is something special. Now for our highly technical specification presentation. First of all, the Nikon D850 is full frame, 45.4 effective megapixels. It's got a back illuminated CMOS sensor to make it better in low light. It's got 4K video and it's shot across the whole of the full frame sensor, which gives a really good resolution. You can shoot 4K at 30p and you can shoot full HD at 120 frames per second. So you've got really, really good slow motion in camera. It also has a huge battery life, which I'm gonna come back to because it is phenomenal. For still shooting with the grip, the D850 can shoot nine frames per second. And without the grip, it's got a standard seven frames per second. It also has a built-in electronic shutter, meaning you can shoot totally silently. A huge, huge positive for wedding photographers, wildlife photographers, and many other forms where a quiet sensor is necessary. In the silent mode, you can shoot full res at six frames per second so you can still shoot really fast. It's got a 3.2 inch tilting touchscreen LCD on the back, you can see that there, which gives you a few different angles. Very good for the video. And because it's a touchscreen, you also get touch autofocus and touch shutter, which I've been playing with here today and it works incredibly quickly, which is really nice. You've got 4K time lapse in camera, so the camera will process the 4K time lapse for you, but it also has the capability, because it's a large full frame sensor, to shoot 8K time lapse, but it doesn't process it in camera, you're gonna need to use some third party software afterwards. You can also do focus stacking. Now, again, you can't process it in the camera, but the camera allows you to take 300 shots at a specified distance in order for you to do that a little bit easier. Now, personally, Battery life for me is the biggest selling point of the D850. The standard ENEL 15A battery, which comes with the camera, can shoot in one standard charge up to 1,840 shots. 1,840 shots. That is phenomenal, just completely unheard of. And it can also do 70 minutes video. Anybody who's upgrading from cameras before can also stick an ENEL 15 in this, but obviously they won't get the same sort of battery life, but yeah, 1800 shots is just amazing. With the grip attached, you can stick a D5 battery in the MBD18 grip, uh, which is an ENEL18B battery, the D5 battery, and with that attached, you can get 5140 shots. 5,000 shots on one battery. All right, it's a big battery, but still 5,000 shots. That is just revolutionary. Without plugging in, you can go for a whole day shoot and not have to faff about with batteries. Only carry one spare if you're going traveling. It is brilliant. And with the grip attached and that D5 battery, you can get up to 200 minutes of video. That is just out of this world. And something that at the moment, I believe, isn't available on the market. Now everyone is gonna have access to the specification list of the D850, so I don't wanna just read them out and get really wrapped up in that. However, here are a few more that I've picked out that I think are really important to make this a kind of revolutionary camera. It's got an XQD slot and an SD slot, and that SD card slot is UHS-2 compatible, which is great. It's got Wi-Fi, low energy Bluetooth, and it's compatible with the SnapBridge app, meaning you can share your pictures easily. However, you can't share the full resolution RAWs through SnapBridge, but 
let's face it, who's gonna do that anyway? When it comes to sharing pictures, if we're honest, a lot of the pictures that are shared to us on our smartphones go onto Instagram. And the camera can be selected to shoot in square ratio to make that easier if that's what you're using it for. It's got a headphone port, a mic port, which makes the 4K video even more effective because you can shoot professionally. The raw size is adjustable, so if you don't need the entire 45 megapixel RAW, you can select it in small, medium, large, which I believe is 11 megapixels and 25 megapixels, just to bring down the size of your images slightly. The center focusing point is can focus down to minus four EV, which is brilliant. And it's now got 153 focus points. In fact, it's got the same autofocus system as the Nikon D5, so we know it's gonna be good. The buffer can take up to 51 full resolution raw shots without slowing down. However, we've just been playing with it here and we haven't managed to get it below 80 yet. So as much as I'm telling you that it's 51, which it is, that is the official number, in the few times we've just used it, we've got 80, 84, at one point we've got 100. So. I think it's a bit more than that, but I'll say 51 just to be safe. It's a tough body, magnesium alloy, and obviously it's all weather sealed, really good weather sealing on these. Um, and there is information available to show where those O-rings are to show how good and how comprehensive the weather sealing is. Also a great accessory that's included with it that I know a lot of studio photographers will go, aha, is it comes with the HDMI cradle, which you put in here, and it stops your wires jiggling about. So you don't rip them out, you don't break the USB port, it just stops things moving around, which is a fantastic thing to include. It's not even extra. Lastly, if you do want to use the D850 to do a lot of video, then this is a really important point for you. Now, the D850 can shoot 4K video up to 29 minutes and 59 seconds. Like a lot of cameras, it's in the camera tax bracket, not camcorder, so it has to be limited at under 30 minutes. Now that's the same as a lot of cameras on the market. However, if you include uh, an external recorder, so if you attach an external recorder such as something like an Atomos Ninja, then it will record 4K continuously. Just goes on and on. So for anybody who wants to record slightly longer video than 30 minutes, you've got that capability there, which is fantastic. Pretty good. Now, if you're as excited about the camera as we are, then you can have a really good look at it tomorrow at our London store in Rathbone Place. That's Friday, August 25th. It's gonna be there from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. So you can have a look at it, see, see what it's like, see how it performs and see how much you love it. If you can't make that or you're down south, then we've got it coming into the Burgess Hill store on Saturday the 2nd of September. And it's gonna be there all day so you can have a look at it there. If you need any more information on the Nikon D850, there is a lot to see, a lot to look at. So make sure you pop onto our website. If you need to, give us a call, send us an email, or just pop a comment below and we'll try our best to help you out. Thanks for watching the video. So we're all good? I'm so short.